So we don't like uh, errors like this. This breaks our program and we don't want to have such things happen. So let's figure out a way we can get rid of this. So the way we can do this is we can uh, we can try to read from the table and find out if actually the columns do exist or not. So let me come back to the DB class here for a second. Uh, and let's go to query down here. All right. So we want to be able to run a very custom query here instead of the queries that we are used to here, which are very, very specific with specific intentions there. I just want to be able to run a query. So let's come back to DB here and see what we can do about that. So to run a query like this, we may need to, first of all, the table, uh, or is this? The table thing will still be called until we create a an instance, and then we create a connection. And once we do this, let me come back to the where uh, this query, this run values. Okay, there we go. Okay, so what I want to do here is to go to the run um, function here and collect what I want to collect here. So let's see, type select, update. Okay, great. So what I want to do now is just read from the uh, database directly to just run the query that comes with it so to do that i will let me just copy what's already here because that's always easier to do let me try in the run here right here where we are i'm going to copy that let me even copy up to here that should be very good come back here and let me paste over there like so Okay, so if check, we are good to go. But then I don't need to ask about the query type here. Let me just uh, do that for a second. Okay, great. And then close that. And then what I will do here is return false. However, if check worked out here, which means things went well, and then I'm just going to read the data here and then if the data is actually an array, did I do that already? So I don't have to repeat myself. Very good. I'm just going to copy that, come down here, and of course, paste it over there. Very nice. Okay, so if whatever is returned here is all good, then we return the data otherwise we return false. So query is a direct, um, now instead of running this query here, we're just going to run query because we want to run this query that comes with a query. And then values, obviously we want, okay, values is there, that's all good. Okay, so looking great here, nice. So what I want to do now is go back to my uh, classes here I want to check what's inside my uh, my tables, the list of tables, right? So let's go to MySQL PHP, my admin here and test out a few queries. So let's imagine, let's just go to the SQL tag and then I'm just going to say select um, columns from users. I don't know if this query will actually run, but let's go. Oh, sorry, I don't know what columns are. Like that, and hit go. Okay, so unknown column columns. Hmm. Now, when this happens, what you should do, if you don't know a particular query here, uh, like in this case, because I do remember 
having to query columns like that, but uh, you can always Google it. So just type MySQL uh, query columns from table like that. So how does the query actually go? Okay, so retrieving data using select, no, get table column names, very nice. So Stack Overflow is always uh, a joy to work with because usually when you have a problem, somebody already answered that question. Okay, so this is the one that I want. It's describe table. Mm -hmm. Very nice, very nice. Or if you're, it says, or in a newer version, you can just use uh, this table schema and table is equal to my table or you can use show columns. So my personal favorite is actually show columns from table. That's the one I normally use, but I went through this route just to show you how easy it is to figure out something you don't know if you have the internet. Because having the internet is like having every human's brain at your fingertips. So let's come back here and let's run that particular query. Let me go back here for a second. So instead of select, it's going to be show columns from users. Let's see that. Okay, so now that we run that query, we get what we wanted. So we have a field and we have type, we have no and so on. So the one that I want is field here. So that's how it is, it's field. So I need to check if all the in the fields the column I'm looking for actually exists. So to come down here, I'm just going to say, check if column exists, okay? So let's check if the column actually exists. And how do we do that? We're going to do that by running this query right here. Let me just copy up to here and paste there. So I'm going to do this. And instead of return, obviously, I want to save that to, um, I really don't know what to call this one, but it's entirely up to you. I'm just a check because we are checking for something. And then I know it's the user's table. So still, I'm just going to do that just for the purposes of initializing the function in the database, creating an instance. And then once I'm done with that, I'm going to go to query like so, and then actually run the query. So what query will I put here? I'm going to say show uh, columns from users like that. Okay, because this is the users class. So everything we are querying is from users. Even though we already have that, that's just for formality. And then we'll query that. Now, check is going to contain something. So what I will do is, in this case, is I'm just trying to print readable what I get from there, right? Also, I'm going to echo some pre-tags so that at least the visibility is good for the results. Okay, so let me come back here and let me refresh. And now you can see it has shown me all the tables that are there but what I'm interested in is the field column only. I, I don't really care about these other things. I just want the field column. So how do I get the field column from each one of these records? Just one of these is to use array column. So what I will do instead, I'll say array column like that. So array column requires an input and the input in our case is the array, which is check and the column we want it's field like so. So let me do that. Now, if I print that version, just notice the difference here. Here we're getting all these unnecessary information, but if I refresh now, of course I have a syntax error. Add another bra bracket there, refresh. And now you see I have a nice little array that contains all the, post all the columns that are in my table. Then all I have to check is check for is say if is in array then we are done so what I will do here is um, I'll just say all columns is equal to and I do that and then this is the array column so all I need to do is to check if my column exists in the all columns so I'll say if in array like so 
the needle is what we are looking for so we're looking for a very particular column and where are we searching it for from in all columns like so so let me move this back a bit put those in there so if in array which means everything is all good then return the data like so because it means everything is good otherwise let's return false because if we don't say return false it's going to return a no value okay so doing that now let's refresh our page okay line 61 unclosed bracket somewhere where is that what's happening so I think I have a missing bracket somewhere now these are usually a pain to find because normally you don't know what wrong you have done okay let me check the error again unclosed bracket on line 53 does not batch the bracket on line 61 okay so let's go to line 53 which is this one so it's thinking this is matching with something that it isn't so i want this to match with this obviously and i want this to match with that so 61 where are you 61 here it wants to close there oh sorry my bad i had to remove that one that one bracket there okay refresh so now as you can see here we've returned false even though we are asking here we are asking to get by username one which does not exist and what data do i get now let me change from print r to var dump so that i actually get the data type that is being returned so if i refresh i get a boolean of false so i know that that didn't go well otherwise if i just type username like so i refresh and i get my record Okay, so hopefully you have learned something new here and I will see you in the next video.